kickboxing contest is sponsored by Sal the Barber. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, Halle from Queens, New York. Standing five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds, here is Arby Guzman. And his opponent, competing out of the red corner, from Baldwin in New York, representing OMMA. Standing six feet tall, weighing at 156 pounds, here is Anthony AJ James. Here we go, Guzman versus AJ James. And we're underway. As Gooseman opens up with a body kick. James, a big, strong looking guy. Gooseman's trying to move forward. James lands a body kick. James fast kicks. Yeah, he does. Coming out of OMMA, those guys are always prepared with some strikers and killers. Gooseman tries moving forward. James kind of pushes him away and throws a right jab. James is in the uh, southpaw stance. Gooseman moves forward with some body shots. Trying to find the connection, the best left right there. James doing a really good job finishing that combo or stepping away from that combo and creating a whole new angle that Guzman has to catch up to. Yeah, Guzman's struggling to get in on the inside. When he does, he's throwing a lot of shots at once. Trying to throw a little flurry at James. James backs up right there. Harvey trying to move forward. We get the 10 second warning. James moves forward. Nice knee to the body. Follows up with some big rights and left. Trying to finish this before the horn is down. And there you have it, round one's over. Good finish for James right there. James even got caught in that footwork. I don't think he... He realized James was back in that southpaw stance, went right into his power side. Yeah, he got caught right there. That knee really slowed him down, took the air out of his lungs, and then uh, James just continued pouring it on. Strong first round. I'm going to give that one to James. James, definitely. I like Gooseman's uh, aggression, but I don't think it was enough to really win him that round. No. go. Doors are closing. Laszlo's the referee. Here we go, Harvey Guzman, Anthony James. Nice jab, and then follows it up. Oh, nice really left right good hand. at getting in and out. That's really impressive by James. And you can see Anthony James is getting confident right now. He brings his arm up, stretching a little showmanship. Doing a good job, not really taking much damage from Guzman. Oh, big left right there. James circling, trying to create an angle. He's been trying to do that spinning back pick. I feel like a lot of guys do that thinking it's like the home run shot, but they're not getting the correct distance. No, you really got to time that really, really well in order to really get it to 
land right where the liver is and to have such an impact. Yeah, when Guzman threw it, he was uh, James was circling away. That's tough to land. So Guzman goes to the all around the hips, high thigh kick. James goes to the body. And we might have had a nut shot right there, a big knee. Landon Guzman trying to go for the body, but just couldn't get his knees high enough. As you can tell, he's definitely the uh, shorter fighter in this matchup. Yeah, unfortunately, that's what happens. When you get a southpaw going against an orthodox, I mean... How difficult for the guys watching, the women, uh, ladies and gentlemen at home watching, how difficult is it to land those knee knees and, you know, avoid those kicks to the nuts if you're a short fighter? What? Not even when you're a short fighter, but me being a southpaw, I would get hit in the nuts all the time throughout fighting. And Anthony James is pouring it on right now go. in front of us. They could stop it. They could stop it. Wow. Guzman's getting a count right now. Anthony James is pouring it on. I think he's bleeding. I don't know if he's spit or he's bleeding. I'm sure there's always, there's always blood here at Jackhammer Promotions. That 10 second warning. Referee checks him. Here we go. Saved by the bell. We're moving on to the next round, but Anthony James poured it on right there. Let's see how well Guzman uh, recovers from that. He's got 60 seconds. Omar's in right now talking to his fighter, James. Omar does a great job with his fighters. He was supposed to have a main event fighter. Mackenzie Hedden, but unfortunately that's not taking place tonight. No, unfortunately not. And watching Mackenzie bang is, if you've, if you've you never like seen Mackenzie bang, you just look up him on YouTube, watch his highlight reel. Absolutely. Here we go, we got Allie letting us know. Round three's coming up. Here at Jackhammer Promotions, Ball Brawl 11. We thank everyone watching on jackhammerfights.com. We've got NJ Mack at yelling orders. All right, Guzman, uh, he still looks a little, uh, a little worn a little. You can see the damage on his face. He's trying to open up. Oh, nice knee right to the sternum. Nice head movement by James. Nice body shot by Guzman. Guzman just can't, he, he'll land a good shot, but he's struggling to follow up with anything. There's that spinning kick again. And the timing and the distance wasn't right there either. Nice footwork by James. Just yeah. getting out of the way of that cross. We know as one of the big keys to head movement is footwork. Exactly. He's avoiding a lot of shots by Guzman. Lands a nice stiff right right there. Guzman's bleeding. Oh, Looks like he's fighting for Braveheart. James has continued putting that jab on. Goes a left. On the left. Guzman trying to push forward, but he's struggling. You can see it where he's a little beat up right now. Yeah, that headgear's not really reacting well with him. No, his hair's coming out like a wild man. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Clay Guida hairdo right now. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that guy fights with that hair. He's an animal. I, I love Clay, watching Clay Guida go at it, but oh. I don't know how he does it with that hair. That guy had probably the best gas tank of all the day. Exactly. Remember the when Sanchez kicked him right in the head and he went stiff, and the second he hit the mat, he came alive. <laughs> yeah, it's not. So Anthony James is trying to finish this, trying to figure out his opponent for the final round. Took a couple shots right there as he's trying to exit the situation. Ten second warning. Let's see if he can pour it on. That footwork is a decisive factor in this fight, definitely. Guzman can't catch up to it. He's having trouble cutting those angles with James. And there you have it. That's the end of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think they realize that. They're, they're, they're both just staring at each other. <laughs> yeah, like, what? That's it? Hard fought fight for both these guys, but I think Anthony James just edges them out in that. Yeah. Like we talked about the, the foot movement, the head movement. 
little of everything was just a little enough, I think, for him to win that fight. Yeah. Landed some good shots that second round he finished. That, that, that second Beautiful round fight. barrage, that footwork, those creating of the angles, like just making Guzman, he, James led the dance this entire time. Absolutely. Good show for him. I want to see him back in here sometime soon, that's for sure. And Guzman's always a gamer. He's always here if Jackhammer Promotions fighting and competing. I mean, I don't know how long James has been doing this. I don't know what his record is. What's that? We lost a decision three fights ago. All right. We got Mike, now, Mike the Iceberg letting us know he lost to Guzman three fights ago, which was a pretty good showing as we're waiting right now for the official decision. Matthew Compatello. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest by way of unanimous decision out of the red corner, Anthony AJ Kings. And there you have it, Anthony James with unanimous decision. That fight was brought to you by Sal the Barber. Go and get a haircut by Sal. They do a great job over there. Very uh, traditional style barber shop. So go check them out in Amityville. Let's go, y'all. Anthony James. Yeah, James, uh, James was doing footwork in the in the cage earlier, and he's heard his mom yelling at him. He's like, "I know that's my mama." <laughs> Immediately stopped what is he doing and went out to say hello to mom. Great you gotta, performance you gotta, by him tonight. You gotta love that out of a fighter. Absolutely, you can see the support here for him. You know, fighting is uh, one of those sports where a lot of people, family sometimes might not support it. They'd be like, "Oh." pick a different career path but for those who that do support their fighters and their family members are competing you know that that means a lot to them yeah it's very it's it's a humbling experience like when the family is there to support you and they see like what how much time and effort you put into it i mean unfortunately my parents never got to watch me fight they did they would see the aftermath of the fight and they're like how the hell did you walk away with a victory <laughs> 